Hello. Hello, Internet. It's just me again. Welcome back to Carson's Corner. Um, so, why am I here today? Well, a uh, little update for those of you who, well, I guess all of you know, because like you're all in the channel, so you, none of you live under a rock. Well, so, randomly, I made a video two years ago, we'll link it up over here, called uh, Things I've Learned Being Married to a Black Woman. So, a little story. My wife and I and a few of our friends go on a vacation to beautiful Jeju Island here in Korea, um, which there will be a vlog coming soon of that. Um, and uh, while we're gone, for some reason, a two-year-old ancient-ass crusty video that I made on a whim when Asiri asked me to is blowing the hell up, and it has almost like 100,000 views, which for our channel is unheard of. And we were like, whoa, and Asiri's been getting subscribers like crazy for the last two weeks, so like welcome to all the new people. I'm Carson, you already know that, you subscribed already. But um, we thought it would be a good idea, now that apparently almost 100,000 people have seen that video and have various uh, thoughts, comments, complaints, whatever, about the video, I thought it'd be a good idea to address um, some of the com most common talking points in the video because, quite frankly, answering the same comment or question 800 times in the same uh, comment section gets really tiring. Um, so I was like, why don't we just do a video about it? So it's just me today. Sorry to disappoint you. There's not a, nearly as much melanin as there, there normally would be, but uh, you know, my apologies for that. You know, check your privileges. Not all of us are blessed with beautiful melanated skin, which actually you'll see in the Jeju video because I got burnt to a crisp. Anyways, let's get started. So, the big thing uh, that got brought up in the comments section to that, again, old ass videos, two years old, what are you guys doing watching two year old videos? I shouldn't complain, but thank you, but still, what are you doing? Um, is people are saying, don't use the words women of color or people of color in that video, just say black, right? Just say black women, because you're talking about a black woman, you're talking about your wife specifically. Uh, quite frankly, yeah. 100%, I agree. Um, so some context for that. That video was originally kind of like a pseudo um, sequel to a video I made in 2018, again, an ancient ass video, called Why I Prefer Women of Color. And in that video, the first video, which admittedly isn't a very good video, um, I made it off the cuff again. I didn't have a script and there was all kinds of issues with it. But um, in that video, I was talking about women of color as a whole. I was talking about uh, Indian women, Middle Eastern women, Asian women, every woman of color I've ever met in my life. Um, and so when my wife asked me to make this video, the 2019 one that you've all seen now, it was sort of a follow up to that one. So I just kind of appropriated the same language. I just or, um, reused the language. But you're right. Um, I should have just said black women. I was talking specifically about black women and black women's issues in that video and things I've learned about being married to a black woman. So, so women of color is obviously a much more all-encompassing term, but black issues and p women of color's issues are, don't always overlap, and I understand that. So thank you for the feedback. That's actually a great one, um, and I completely agree with you. Completely agree with you. Now, on that note, some of you, well, actually, it's sort of like 50-50. Many of our subscribers are from Africa. Many of our subscribers are from North America. The terminology is always going to be a little bit different. I know, for example, some people in the comments uh, on the last video and some of my South African friends still use the term colored. Obviously, in North America, we don't. Um, Africans, some Africans have, have said in the comments that they like to be called black. Others say people of color is fine. Some say women of color is a terrible term. You shouldn't use it. It's actually just colored people 2.0. The debate is lively um, and None of us are going to agree because, again, we're from all different parts of the world. So, going forward, I'm going to try my best to always just say black people when I'm talking specifically about black people because the one thing everybody seems to agree on is that if you, if you call a black person a black person, nobody gets mad. So, that's great. Um, we'll just use black and white. And if we're talking about a uh, more all-encompassing term, I'll still use women of color. That's because I'm from Canada. And as far as I know, I don't think the literature has changed in the last two years the sort of politically correct term for, um, well, black and brown skinned people, basically, and I guess Asian people as well, is people of color. Um, on that note, 
let's move on to the second criticism that was very similar, which was uh, in the video, in 2019 video, I talked about dating or being married to a minority, and people said um, the term minority isn't very accurate. Correct, 100% agree with you. The better term would have been marginalized people. I was talking about like a socio-political situation where people are discriminated against or you know they don't have the privileges that I do. Uh, they're not minorities. Black people aren't a minority in the world. White people are the minority, let's be honest. Um, but we have privilege, so we're, we're not marginalized. So marginalized people is, is a more accurate term. Um, because I wasn't just talking about black people in that part. I was talking about, you know, if you're dating somebody who is uh, not cisgender, if they're trans, if they're gay, if they're black, if they're brown, whatever it is, uh, marginalized people. So again, I hear you. Thank you. Good call. Those of you who made that comment, excellent. Um, good point. Number two, let's get into something less serious. Uh, Carson, why are you wearing a wig? Why are you wearing your wife's wig and acting like a woman? Okay, first of all, it was like a 10 second joke about uh, how a Siri always started her videos back then and I thought it would be funny to wear a wig. Those of you who saw that and got like really triggered, I weep for your fragile egos. Um, I don't know what to tell you. It was supposed to be funny. Most of you thought it was funny. That's great. Thank you. Those of you who have a problem with it, you should re-examine how you feel because it's literally a wig on a man's head. The sky isn't going to fall because I wore a wig for 10 seconds or talked with like a stereotypical feminine voice. Calm your titties. All right. It's going to be fine. Get over yourselves. Anyways, let's move on. Number three. Ooh, this one. Me and my wife have been Okay, do you ever have moments when you're on YouTube and you're just like chilling and you're just like watching videos and something and then you scroll through comments and you just go, ugh, this is that one. So, we did not misspell the word learned as learnt. The English language has different spellings on different continents. North American spelling of learned is L-E-A-R-N-E-D. British Spelling is L-E-A-R-N-T. They are both acceptable. My wife is Nigerian. She edits the videos. Nigeria learned British style English. Okay? Get over it. Even if it was the wrong spelling, who cares? That's not the point of the video. The video could be about the most amazing thing in the whole world and you're gonna, you're gonna get triggered in the comments because somebody made a, made a spelling error. It's not a spelling error. You're just from America. And it's all white American boomers that are commenting about it. I just know it. I will bet every single YouTube buck I make from here to the rest of the, the of time that all the people getting angry about the, the spelling are all like old white dudes. I don't know how I know that. I just know. I just know in my bones. So anyways. Learnt is a word. It is a Nigerian English, well, British English style that Nigerians learn. Uh, so again, who cares? I didn't misspell the word. Also, I don't do the editing for these videos. Wife does. So she edits it according to how she learned English. Get over it. All right. Number four. Uh, this one uh, is, is a good criticism too, I think, but I just, we need to put some context to it. Why didn't you talk about X or Y or Z or why didn't you mention this or you should have talked about that or you should have talked about this? Um, first of all, let me just say the, the suggestions are great. I like the idea of like, yeah, I should talk about that in the future or I should talk about that or I could have mentioned that. But just keep in mind, guys, the video is a 12 minute video made with no script on the internet. So it was not an exhaustive list of everything I've learned being married to a black woman. Obviously, that list goes very long and obviously everything we talked about in that video and in this video we could go really deep into. That's not what we were doing. Uh, but we also didn't think that video was going to blow up and get 100,000 views. So, you know, maybe if that's the type of stuff that drives the channel, we might do a second part and we probably will because obviously you guys like to see it. So we'll probably do another video, but um, just keep that in mind. Just because I didn't mention something doesn't mean I haven't learned about it or doesn't mean that it's not something I know of or what have you. A lot of people were mentioning like, you didn't mention this about your wife or this about your wife or the only things you learned about were like dance and hair. No, obviously not. I've learned much more than that. I just wanted to talk about some easily digestible, easy to talk about concepts or things that I've learned that are a little bit different from what I got to. So don't take it too seriously. If the video was an hour long essay, then yeah, we would agree. But it was it was not that. It was a 12 minute sit down, much like this one. Uh, number five, last one. This one, uh, this one confuses me a little bit. I, I've seen just in the last couple days, uh, a bunch of comments about this that I was like, did you guys even watch the video? But um, number five, 
a lot of people were saying, well, not a lot, but uh, a notable minority were saying um, white privilege isn't a good thing just because you have it and you protected your wife, that doesn't mean you can use like white privilege to fight racism or whatever. I, I don't know what video you watch. I didn't say that. Um, I acknowledge in the video that white privilege is something that nobody should have. Privilege in general, like by definition, is not something anybody should have, whether it's straight privilege, white privilege, thin privilege, pretty privilege, rich privilege, whatever it is. Privileges are kind of the thing that we're trying to do away with. Um, I Let me just be clear, white privilege is bad. It's a, a product of white supremacy and patriarchy and racism. It's not a good thing. That being said, I have it whether I like it or not right now. And what I said in the video was, when you are married to a black woman, or I said woman of color in the video, but I think it extends to women of color, not just black women. When you are a white person, the least you can do for black people, for people of color in general, um, or marginalized people in general, is use the privilege you have at least to protect the people in your immediate circle, be that your best friend, your your wife in my case, or whatever. I was not saying that you should like fight for white privilege because it's good for anti-racism or anything like that. All I was saying was, you have it, so at the very least, like white privilege isn't gonna go away tomorrow. If it would, that would be awesome, but it's obviously not going to. So in the meantime, one of, I shouldn't say the least, one of the things you can do is use it to protect your loved ones. That's all I was trying to say. So um, I just want to be clear about that because there was multiple comments about um, I think people were misunderstanding that I was trying to argue that like white privilege was something like yeah you can use it and it's good. It's not good but whether I like it or not I have it. Um, so if, I, if I'm gonna have a shitty privilege like you know white supremacist privilege I might as well while simultaneously supporting people who are dismantling white privilege and working myself to unlearn and dismantle white privilege, I should still use the privileges I have to protect those people around me that aren't as fortunate as I am. So um, I hope that kind of clears that up. Uh, other than that, um, hey, uh, before I forget, now let's get less serious again. Uh, a couple of comments mentioned, I've got a little white mark on my lip. It's a scar, guys. It's a scar from when I got punched in the face by accident in a judo tournament. Also, there's no punching in judo, but I got, I got punched in the face. So like, there's not food on my lip. It's a scar. Also, since somebody's gonna say it now, I don't know what this is, all right? It's like a mosquito bite, I think. I don't know, okay? But I know there's gonna be at least one comment like, ah, I couldn't uh, watch the video because he had a red dot on his face. What is with you people on that note, by the way? What is, like, you go on the internet and you watch a video about, like, interesting concepts and, like, the first thing you think is like, well, his beard is, like, a seven shades not dark enough, so I'm not, anyways. Just as a lighter note, um, yeah, I'm aware I have a weird white dot on my lip. It's a scar. If I could get rid of it, I, I, I would. Um, okay, that's all, I think. Hopefully, uh, you enjoyed this little clear up. Again, if you didn't see already, we'll link the original video up here because it's blowing up and we really appreciate that. It is, for a small little tiny channel like ours, it is unheard of. We are confused and bewildered but we're loving it and uh welcome to all the new subscribers it's great to see you guys great to meet you guys please uh keep the feedback coming the good and the feedback i mean yes the bad feedback makes me roll my eyes but at the same time i really do enjoy the discussions uh something we didn't mention before i am commenting on my separate i have like my own youtube uh account i don't have a channel uh, i'm called rowdy mouse maybe we'll put it right here you'll see my picture um that's me so I, I've left a whole bunch of comments and people were like, oh wait, you're the husband, right? Yeah, that's me. I don't, I don't, if, if you see a serious corner commenting, that's, that's wifey. If you see Rowdy Mouse commenting, that's me. We have, I have my own channel. So I um, uh, can't wait to talk to you guys more in the, the comment sections. Please keep watching. Please keep subscribing. We're loving it. It's, uh, look, I don't want to get dramatic and say it's a dream come true, but it's certainly really encouraging for us as we've been doing YouTube for a few years now. My wife works really hard. Uh, on the on the YouTube videos she she edits and creates she's gonna edit this one for me and uh, it's really validating to see sort of the response the positive response and the feedback from all you guys so uh, we love you and we'll see you next time okay bye